Welcome to Destination Central, I'm Amy Forrest. Now this week we have an awesome show lined up in the South Waikato. We kick off the show in Tokoroa, then we drive on through to Patadadu, and we finish the show in Tito. So let's get the show on the road. Have you been thinking of that dream guitar? Are you a professional guitarist or hoping to learn? Toadstool Guitars in Tokoro have all the experience and expertise you need. And I hear there is a beautiful range of handcrafted guitars in store. So let's go and meet guitar guru Gary who makes music magic. Hi Gary, nice to meet you. Good morning. Now, how long have you been making handcrafted guitars and ukuleles? Talk us through your experience. Uh, I've been building uh, guitars and ukuleles for about 14 years. Um, uh, it started off really when I was uh, about eight or nine years old and I just felt a, an urge to play guitars and uh, it never really stopped and then 14 years ago I finally started building them and it was really only for myself but every time I'd make a good one someone would want it so I kept going and going and, and that's how it got to where it is today. Yeah. So you cater to everyone, so tell me what else do you have on offer in your store? Okay, we have electric guitars, we have ukuleles, we have acoustic guitars. Um, our primary objective is to fit the guitar to the person so they get exactly what they want and you know obviously catering for a range of budgets but um, also we provide um, amplification as well, uh, PA systems we get and um, acoustic amplifiers and electric amplifiers as well. And I see you've got an in-store workshop as well, what other services do you offer here? Uh, we provide a range of repairs from um, basic uh, full rebuilds to uh, touch-ups, uh, string changes, uh, we do a lot of setups, uh, a lot of working musicians uh, which have acoustic and electric guitars. Um, over time uh, they go out of adjustment, they need readjusting to make sure that they're giving the right tone uh, and everything is operating properly. So we do all those adjustments for them and anybody else. Tell me about the leading brands that you stock here. We go from the entry level which is uh, your Stag and and Samic and uh, also the Sigma range of guitars which are um, new back in New Zealand. Uh, we have a range of Martin guitars as well and Martin guitars are one of the best guitars in the world. They've been going since 1833 so we're quite proud to be in a Martin dealer and we carry a, a range of their guitars obviously. Uh, another brand that we uh, focus on as well is Fender which make uh, great uh, electric guitars, they make good acoustic guitars as well but their electrics are world renowned and uh, it shows because I can have a, a non-guitarist person walk into the shop and they can tell me exact what, exactly what model and make the guitar is that's hanging there so it's quite a novelty but yeah they, they are really good as well. So you've got a wide range of guitars and ukuleles, what accessories do you stock as well? Well, we sell uh, obviously a range of strings um, to suit both acoustic and electric guitars. We also um, sell a range of uh, capos, uh, which a lot of musicians use. We sell tuners uh, for actually tuning the guitar, obviously. Cleaning products is another one that we sell. Uh, we also sell um, harmonicas and, and other associated items like that as well. So. Um, you can get a harmonica or a tambourine, that sort of thing in here as well. So on that note, how can people get in contact with you? Okay, we're located on uh, 47 Bridge Street in Tokoroa, which is in the South Waikato. Um, people can either get a hold of us uh, by coming into our store and having a look around. Everybody's welcome. We're open um, all day, uh, 9 till 5, Monday to Friday, and 9 till... Um, one on a Saturday um, so free, feel free to come in or you can give us a call on 07 88 364 Great, thank you very much Gary. That's alright, no problem, thank you. Wow, what a beautiful range of handcrafted guitars. Now, Toastal Guitars have a special deal for our viewers for the month of August. If you come into their store and mention that you've seen this show, they will be giving you a free set of Martin acoustic strings. So make sure you come into Toastal Guitars in Tokoroa. 
If you're looking for a bite to eat but the whole family can't decide, head on into the Patanadu food court. Monique caught up with them earlier on in the year. Let's take a look. Hi Irene, can you explain the story to us of how you came to be in Patanadu? Oh, it's, it's quite a bit of a funny story because when we arrived from Bermuda, we were living in Bermuda, we decided to go, my husband was transferred first to Australia and then we came, but uh, on the way, on the ship, we f there was a couple from Pataru, and because it was such a funny name for our ears, you know, that it stuck with me all these years. And then about 35 years later, I happened to see this, an ad in the paper for the sale of the post office, Pataru, and so I thought, I had to see it. So I, I put in a bit, and my whole family thought it was absolutely crazy and I should be put on to pastures. But when I persuaded them to come here, they also fell in love with the town. And here we are. So. And how did you come to be involved with the food court? Well, I have another food court in uh, Ponsonby. And that's packed. So I, I know the back... Uh, my background is actually marketing and uh, public relation. And um, so, but... That food court was doing all right, so I thought to put in the same principles here because there wasn't anything what we have here. So that's how it came, you know. So. Now let's talk about the food. What's available here at the food court? The food is actually marvellous, really. You know, we, we have uh, Thai, we have Midori Sushi when they open again, and we have Hello India, who they also have a shop in Cambridge. They're fairly, very famous in Cambridge. And we have uh, the, the cafe, yes, the cafe. And um, he does a variety of food. He's, he's already become a bit of an institution. And I only just recently found out that Bond actually has, because I thought he was Thai, but he actually has his roots in New Zealand. His father is Maori and his mother is Thai. So it's, it's, that's why he fit in so well here. And you also do pizza? Yes, we do. We do. We have really nice pizza and that is also uh, belongs to Bond, the shop. You've got some fantastic opening hours. What are these? They are from 11 to 9. So, uh, and that's seven days a week? Seven days a week. So where do we come to try this awesome food? I'm located on State Highway 1 on the roundabout to Tokoroa. Well, you've obviously done so much for Patararu and thank you so much for being on the show today. Thank you. Well, I can't wait to try that delicious smelling food. I think I'll be back for dinner. The Waikato River Trail explores New Zealand's longest river in the serenity of grasslands, open reserves and boardwalks. Time to take a wander and catch up with Glint, the General Manager. Hi Glint, now what a beautiful location. So talk us through the Waikato River Trail experience. The River Trail opened 20 months ago. Uh, November 2011, and it's 103 kilometres long. Uh, it takes in five hydro lakes, uh, Lakes Whakamaru, Maraitai, Waipapa, Arapuni, and here at Lake Karapiro. Uh, crosses two hydro dams, Whakamaru and Waipapa. Uh, there's something for just about everyone on the trail from just a short um, journey to the full 103k ride or walk. And I see there's an extensive range of New Zealand native plants as well. Yeah, what we've been doing over the last few years is the, the trail has become an enabler. So it's enabled us to, to take on some riparian protection and enhancement close to the river. So we've got some uh, key funders, the Waikato River Authority, um, Waikato Catchment Ecological Enhancement Trust and South Waikato Environmental Initiatives Fund that provide funding for us to, to head in, 
with volunteers and take out weeds and replace those areas close to the river with, with native species. Well, it certainly is a beautiful location. So talk me through the tracks and the level of fitness that's required. Well, the tracks are all free, so anyone can come and use them. Um, I guess the northern end of the trail and the southern end of the trail are our intermediate sections, so they're a little bit easier. And the middle piece of the trail has a few more challenges, a few more ups and downs. So we customise packages based on people's needs if they're coming from out of town. But like I said, people can come in here in the weekends or during the week and use this um, and there's no cost to them. So what other services do you offer to help make visitors' experience easier? We encourage people to either call us or come through our website. Um, there's plenty of information on the website. What we offer is we have bikes for hire, uh, we have a shuttle service that can transport people, their bags, um, we provide an accommodation booking service and we really encourage people to come through the, the trust if they can because um, every, every night's accommodation that's booked um, we take 10% commission and we invest it back in maintaining this trail for the future. Now talking about maintenance, how else can people help support these tracks to stay maintained? We have um, a membership option online so people can sign up as a, a member and make a, a donation. Um, but primarily it's around using the trail and um, if people want to spend more than a day on the trail is booking a service through us and in that way contributing back to the trail's maintenance. You know we cut this trail primarily out of the, the scrub and the bush so it does, nature comes back and is sort of uh, reclaiming. We're also in a very temperate climate here so things grow prolif prolifically. That's why we're surrounded by dairy farms and, and forestry. Uh, so it's qu quite, a, quite an extensive maintenance program to keep this trail in fantastic condition for people. And I hear that you've got an event coming up to help people enjoy these beautiful walks. Tell me a bit more about that. Um, last year on November the 10th we had the first on-trail event, the Tanifa. The Tanifa is made up of, of walking and running options as well as mountain biking. So the shortest uh, walking option is 7Ks. There's a 14, um, a half marathon, a marathon and an epic 60K run. Uh, we had 33 people do the 60K run last year. And with the mountain biking, we've got a 21, a 42, a 60 and 80K mountain bike. So we had 841 people participating last year, which was really fantastic. Um, it's on November the 9th this year. Um, entry form here. Uh, you can enter online or there's plenty of these around sort of bike shops around the Waikato. Well, what a great way to encourage people to come out and enjoy these tracks. So most importantly, tell me where exactly is this track located? Okay, so at the northern end, um, the trail starts on Horahora Hora Road, which is just off State Highway 1, uh, just south of the Tauranga Turnoff, and in the south at Aotea Murray. So there's a new bridge built across the Waikato River at Aotea Murray, and the trail starts about 100 metres from State Highway 1 at that end. Great, thank you very much, Glenn. Thank you. So whether you're a seasoned professional or off for a relaxing stroll, the Waikato River Trail offers the perfect experience for all to enjoy. Are you looking for a product for your farm races that will help minimise production losses? The owners and creators of Stockrock have discovered the perfect mineral product for your farm races that is easy on cow's hooves. Let's go and meet Shane and find out more. Hi Shane, now first of all, what is Stockrock? Stockrock is an industrial mineral called zeolite. Uh, zeolite is used for uh, various industrial applications. Um, the main use for zeolite is in cat litter, uh, which is used for, as an absorbent in households in the city. We use the, the, the zeolite mineral for capping dairy farm races. So we're not too worried about the absorbency type of thing in this application. It's more that it's a, it's a soft, durable rock, and that's really what we're after, something that is going to be uh, durable and last a long time, but be soft enough on the cow's feet, and we get that from the zeolite mineral. So how did you come up with the idea to use such a product, and why? Uh, I found out about the, the stock rock um, being laid on farm races from a friend of mine who was a dairy, who was a dairy farm advisor. Um, we'd used a lot of brown rock around the Waikato and Bay of Plenty in the past and although the brown rock is, is quite
cost effective for dairy farmers. It's always really difficult to get the right application uh, at the right time. Often when we want the best rock it's either too soft or too hard and, and its availability is usually dependent on the weather and, and, um, and it can not always be the most ideal. So I was always looking for something else that would be sort of more beneficial to the dairy farms. Um, the, the beauty of this material is it's very consistent. The, the, the quarry which we get the stock rock from, the face of the quarry is 40 metres high and it's all the same industrial mineral. Whereas with a brown rock quarry, you're normally looking about a, a certain area in the quarry at different times of the year that are, that are suitable for using on dairy farm races. So the consistency and the availability of this material all year round is, is our major benefit. Now you've mentioned that this farm is about to get a new farm race, so talk us through the process of the application. The first thing we normally do is, uh, is scrape the existing race off. We take out all the mud and any grass edges along the, along the fence lines and so forth. Take out any pockets of, of muck which are going to be soft so that if we're going to lay a new product over the top, um, it doesn't create a, a soft pothole later on. So after we've scraped it off, we give it a, what we call a rip, a reshape and a roll. So we rip the, the existing material and re-level it so we have a nice even camber again. Because often farmers haven't done anything about their races for some years. So we need to make sure that we uh, get the consistency across the whole race. And then we uh, apply the stock rock to the surface of, of the race and we, we don't want a, a very steep camber, no more than 3 to 6% camber from the centre of the race to the sides. So the main benefit of the stock rock is that it's very light. It cover, one tonne of stock rock covers about 5.6 square metres, whereas normal brown rock would cover about 3 square metres. So there is an advantage where it's a lot lighter so it goes a lot further. So how else is this product unique to other farm race materials? Well the zeolite is a, uh, it's a softer, more consistent rock. Um, the, the key things is it's which farmers often ask me is that how can it be softer and last longer? The durability of the rock is, is the key thing here. We say that it's hard but it's soft. If you, if you bang two pieces of stock rock together it gives a real sharp hard sound but yet when uh, it's laid on the farm race it has nice smooth edges and it doesn't give the same sort of issues that brown rock would or lime fines or other type of lime based materials. Now the key things are with stock rock is that when the fine particles track onto the concrete yard or feed pads or um, uh, any concrete areas around the cow shed like underpasses is that it just breaks down like chalk whereas in most cases with brown rock it creates a stone bruise because it's sitting on the concrete it won't break down sometimes it can stay there for a few days because often the farmers won't scrape the, rock, the, the, the feed pad off every day so the benefits are it breaks down very quickly but it has no sharp edges on the cow's hooves. And what do farmers need to know before they give you a call? An estimate over the area is, is quite easy to do um, so naturally they just measure the, the length of the race or the area which goes from the cow shed yard and if they look down the farm they'll see where the muckiest area is which is usually in that first 100 to 200 metres and then so they measure that area up and then the width of the race and then I know the square area so I can give them a really good estimate. Great, so how can they contact you? Our 0800 number is the most uh, prominent number which is 0800 88 55 55 or our website number, uh, our website address is www.stockrock.co.nz. Great, thank you very much. Thank you. So there you have it, a superior hard-wearing product that is perfect for your farm races. Get in touch with the team at Stockrock today to discuss the options. For New Zealand made designer clothing, magazine have a stunning range for every occasion. So ladies, let's go shopping. Hi Linda, now tell us about the beautiful range here at magazine designer clothing. Well at magazine clothing here we do have a fabulous range right through from everyday casual right through to a fabulous special occasion and that's something that we've really worked on and very proud with our range that we have put together. 
um, and it's really exciting at the moment. We've, every day we've got new styles coming in, it's the change of seasons and there's just something fabulous arriving every day. Well you certainly have some beautiful garments here. So who do you cater to and what are your specialties? Well we cater for sizes 10 to 26. So, you know, a great variety there. Uh, we do do our casual range, but we have got a fabulous reputation for our special occasion wear. Uh, that covers uh, especially mother of the bride and groom, which at the moment, of course, coming into wedding season. Then uh, race day wear, event wear. So there really is something for everybody. And the beauty of our magazine range is that it is only sold through the magazine stores. And this is quite important because if you're off to a special occasion, you don't want to turn up wearing the same thing as other people. So we only do very small runs of all of our garments. And, uh, so, and it's changing all the time. So there is always something new. Now tell us about your team here at Magazine and the consultation service that you offer. Our team here at Hero, we have a wonderful manager, Bronwyn, and along with her lovely team of girls, they are very caring, uh, they're well experienced consultants, but they're, they're just so wonderful at making you feel comfortable when you come in, they don't hurry you, just helping you to find that perfect piece. Uh, that for an occasion or whether it's just mixing and matching with something you already have in your wardrobe, it just works together very well. But we're very proud of all of our ladies. Um, they do offer a wonderful service. And I see that you've got a stunning range of accessories here too. Yes, Magazine has is getting quite a reputation for our accessories because we just adore them. Some of them are imported, some are New Zealand made. In fact, we have one range made exclusively for us now. Uh, which is the she range and that is, that's been a wonderful success you know you have just your basic little necklace and then of course you can add all your drop pendants to it as you wish and build on your collection so where are the locations of magazine right well at uh, at this time we have seven stores nationwide and uh, very exciting news in about a month or so we're opening our eighth store in Pukekohe and uh, so details of all of our addresses can be on our website, uh, which is magazineclothing.co.nz. Now, can you talk us through those outfits that you picked out for Judith? Well, the first one we've got is just a, a little bit more casual. It is um, an exclusive magazine piece, both the gorgeous little teared tunic and the white pants there. They are just fabulous because they can be dressed up or down and that's the beauty of a lot of our garments. Uh, and really, it caters for all ages as well. So whatever age or size or shape, we, we have something for you. And next up, we have Judith in another exclusive magazine outfit. Uh, the beauty of this, it's a three piece, but each piece can be worn beautifully on its own. You can dress it down, the jacket is great, uh, and the tunic over jeans for a more casual look later. And of course, lovely pearls, we love our pearls too, which um, complement the outfit. Those outfits are absolutely beautiful. So do you have anything else you want to show us? Oh yes, just a couple over here. That's another one that's um, very similar to what Judith wore with the three piece is together there just with a shorter jacket but the colours are just stunning and the beauty of a piece like this is you can wear it with so many other colourways underneath it doesn't have to be the blue although the blue is lovely vibrant colourway uh, but again gorgeous just worn with jeans. Well it's so nice to see some colour for a winter outfit. Oh, fabulous for the winter or summer. A lot of transseasonal that we do uh, because that way you, it's versatile dressing. You get the most from your garments. Exactly. That's another piece we've just put through, which of course is the lovely floral. This is fabulous jacket on. It's a silk, comes in the softest blue color there that you see. Again, just a great option for mother of the bride or groom or the special occasion. So if you're looking for a new piece to add to your wardrobe or have a special event coming up, magazine in Tito is a must. Thanks Linda. You're welcome Amy. What's hot in our region? One of the most prestigious events on the country music calendar, the National Country Music Awards 2013 are an evening not to be missed this Saturday 17th of August. 
huge variety of traditional and contemporary embroidery work appealing to all ages and genders will be held at Baycourt Tauranga from 28th of August to the 1st of September. Enter the perfect winter warmer this Sunday by road cycling, mountain biking or running over great terrain. Dynamo Events delivering positive, enduring event experiences. Are you prepared for when disaster strikes? Head along to the Rotorua Museum on Sunday 25th of August to learn more about getting ready to protect your family. Mackie, Maki and Party High have sponsored this awesome giveaway for the month of August. Enter now and choose between either a one year subscription to New Zealand Weddings Magazine or a six month subscription to New Zealand Fishing News Magazine. All you have to do is answer which subscription you would like and enter either through our website or phoning our competition line. Thanks to Mackie, Maki and Party High in Te Aumutu, entries close 2nd of September. What a day in the South Waikato. Make sure you check out those five businesses that we visited today. See you next week on Destination Central. Bye. This has been an Alpha Media production, a division of Television Media Group.